<laughs> well, good morning from Kingston. It's a foggy day today. Unusual for this time of year. Been a busy week. Let's get right into it. But before we do, don't forget, like the video, subscribe if you can, and ring the bell. It may seem to some that using the expression beginning of the end in today's title is a little premature, but as you look across the site, you can't help but appreciate how far we've come, well beyond halfway, and making good speed. Of course, there's much still to be done, but as you'll see today, things are really moving quickly. The excavator has been busy most of the week, removing gravel from between the piers that remain to be completed and uh, seeing it hauled away by trucks from the local company Mulroonies, even on the foggiest day. The situation is quite the opposite at the east end, where fleets of trucks all week have been delivering gravel that will form the ramp leading from the bridge to Gore Road. The bulldozer and the roller compactor have been busy all week levelling this material on even the wettest of days. Thursday's heavy rain prevented any work on the steel structure, but elsewhere there was work done. Around the junction of Gore Road and Highway 15, a local company, Digitech Communications, were hard at work surveying and, and perhaps engaged in some form of installation. A day or two earlier, in very different conditions, a team from Tomlinson had been conducting hydraulic excavation to determine the depth of utilities on site. Since we're already on the east side, let's have a look at the progress on the steel structure. A total of six steel sections was placed this week. The first four long sections can be seen here. And this is how they went into place. By Wednesday, it was time to start another section for the large web piece. Thursday's heavy rain interrupted installation on the steel. But on Friday, despite heavy fog, we were off to the races. The initial lift is followed with a swing into the appropriate orientation. Then, guided at every step by iron workers, the beam is moved into the uh, installation position. It becomes a real team effort in the final stages, where six joints in two planes, vertical and horizontal, have to be matched and managed. And all of this work is taking place in conditions that may be less than ideal. Ultimately, of course, everything comes together. Earlier in the week, to feed the constant demand for decking slabs, DeCast delivered two loads of uh, new slabs, which were unloaded and placed ready for disposal. Since we're on the subject of slabs, it's worth noting that Bridget was busy this week at Pier 16. 16, you might remember, is the only pier uh, beside 21 on the east side, which is largely incomplete. Placing these concrete support slabs is the first step in building scaffolding that will hold the forms into which the concrete for the pier cap will be poured.
By first thing on Friday, everything was in place to start the scaffold build. The build is relatively straightforward, with the sections being lifted into place by Bridget and adjustable bases used to confirm the exact height, which is important when the forms are placed. Note the occasional requirement for a little bit of percussive adjustment. Closer to the existing concrete sections, Pier 12, which had long been neglected, is the subject of intense attention as rebar is packed ready for concrete delivery. If we turn our attention now back to the steel structure, it's well worth noting that this week saw the last of the very wide steel sections delivered. They must come as a surprise to anybody on Highway 15 as they make their way down to the library and finally turn into the worksite. I think in this shot you get a pretty good idea of the scale of the piece. The vehicle and uh, trailer basically fill the roadway. It's worth remembering Four of these massive sections arrived last week, and two of those are already incorporated in the bridge. This was a week that saw a very wet day, a very foggy day, and a pretty hot day. And on that hot day, it wasn't just the humans who needed to cool off. We have no way of knowing what the weather will bring next week. But we do know that the concrete girders are coming back and that at least two more steel deliveries are due. And these pieces may be longer than we've seen before. So stay with me on these updates. Keep up to speed. Well, that's it for another week. If you'd like to see future updates, don't forget to like. And if you're up to doing it, subscribe. It does help. Take care, stay safe. Thanks for watching. Bye now.